Um, so the the Pano starter pack is going to be the Ice Storm box minus the Father Knight. Yeah. Okay. Father Officer, or whatever it is. Well, maybe I'm going to repeat this uh, constantly. Uh, one of the keys of uh, the 3D modeling, and that's something Fausto uh, teaches to us, is uh, the thickness of the, um, of the of the of each uh, joint and separation of each piece, because uh, it provides more volume to the to the figure, which is better for, for painting, and not only better because it's more easier to paint is better because it provides a better effect when one is expanded. But also because it's better to, uh, to print in, in 3D. Uh, it's something you maybe you have seen in several Kickstarters that are you know, growing up or from uh, everywhere. Uh, you see 3D designs very interesting, maybe uh, apparently very well modeled, uh, and, and uh, it's nice, it's very finely detailed, and when you see the final result, the print is, lacks a lot of details. And it's not only uh, a question to the, the quality of the printing, but it's a question of the, of the quality of the modeling, because if you make this it's not, not so deep, more or smooth, and the, the, the print that the, 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 is not uh, available to do. Like that, uh, really. So that's the reason they yeah, are uh, so so deep and so marked. Uh, so that's something Fausto, the 3D model teaches to us. Uh, for example, I didn't know about uh, this. Is that um, is that rougher on the molds? I mean, deep, like the deeper panel lines, the detailing. Uh, sorry, <laughs> is, is the the deeper detail is it rougher on the production molds? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, with uh, with three with uh, oh, sorry, with uh, resin marinas uh, coming with uh, uh, from from the three D printer, we can make uh, easier uh, uh, molds for uh, for production. We, we, our molds can reflect uh, very precisely uh, yeah, any detail. Uh, it's not different from. From a model modeled with uh, Fimo or with uh, green green stuff, there are no there are no different. Our mold uh, creators have uh, uh, the resources necessary to, to reflect any and the, and the technology in the molds are uh, now is, is quite is highly different and better than the first one we used in the 2005, for example, or even even in 2002. I, I remember in some models we used for Warcraft our fantasy lines of models we had a long time ago and some of the details to, to, to be able to reflect in the mold were very difficult and now we have not so so problems so uh, sometimes you think oh, how much I suffer in the thing in the past <laughs> if, I, if I couldn't if I know about this that's uh, when I saw these models I really get angry with, with Carlos Torres and with Fausto and said, hey, it's not fair, this is the hacker and the, and the missile launcher of Fusilier. It's not fair, they are Fusilier, they are from, from Panoceania. They don't need to be charismatic. It's silly, this guy is awesome, but it's a Fusilier. What are you spending that, that so much time in us? In a here. They're supposed to look like Angus. <laughs> <laughs> so the Angus seals have to look better, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I hope we will release a, a, a new model of Angus. Uh, sorry, I'm starting to pass it fastly. Do you guys have your own 3D printer? No, 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 no. Uh, what I was talking about, charismatic. <laughs> No, we have not. We have not uh, a three printer. Uh, we thought about that, but now they are very. Now they are still very, very expensive, and uh, it's, it's the same that happens when you have to buy a, a 
a PC or a, or a tablet, uh, you can spend that money in that new model, new model, new generation, mm, highly expensive, but this the, 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 the most uh, modern uh, tablet you can find in the market, or you can wait six months and that will be cheaper. But at that moment, they uh, they have been released another new, a uh, more <laughs> advanced. And oh, what can I do? With the three printers, happens the same. Uh, we delay our decision to start working with uh, 3D modeling uh, because we thought there were not uh, printers with the pro able to provide the quality the Infinity miniatures require. Uh, we are always very um, concerned about uh, the quality of our product. That's the one of the reasons uh, uh, Infinity requires so much time for, for us because we, the, we create, we design the, the, the game mechanics, the, the, the concept designs, but also we produce. And, and there are a lot of things related in, in that too because uh, when you are designing uh, and modeling, you have to consider that you are going to produce that. Um, so the, the pieces have no, to have a very deep holes, if not when you are t uh, taking them out from the mold, the, the mold can grow, and if the mold grows, you have to read on that, and every mold you read on, it makes the model more expensive. And, uh, that's a lot of things that you have to think about that. Uh, but, um, Again, I said, uh, as we are very concerned about the quality of, of the models, uh, I remember three, four, four years ago, we made a test with, uh, with a printer in, in Spain, and the result was uh, all horrible. And we said, no, no, uh, at this moment, the technology level is not enough for, for infinity. Uh, then Fausto, his model, contacted with us, and we know his work, and uh, we like it very much. But they say, well, Fausto, the problem is we don't trust the quality of the printers. And Fausto said, no, I have found a, 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 a printer company in Germany that have new, a new um, 3D printer that I think provides the quality you, you need. And we started to work with them and uh, say, okay, that's, that's the, the quality we need. But uh, the, the printer, that, that printing machine is, is very expensive. Now, there are new printing machi machines that have provided better quality, but are they also very expensive. So at, the, at this moment, we have to thought, uh, okay, we can buy a printing machine that will be interesting, but very expensive. Um, probably in two years will be obsolete. So at this moment, we are almost comfortable working with this printing Germany, com Germany German company, so we are going to not invest in that and invest in other in, in other things. Uh, that's the that's the main that's the main reason. Yeah. How many how many masters do you usually operate? Masters. Uh, we usually uh, print one single master. Just one. Yeah. yeah. What what happens? Uh, one of the most interesting things of 3D modeling uh, in front of the of the, of the traditional modeling is. Uh, when uh, you model so, something uh, with them or with the green stuff, if uh, at the at the end uh, you realize that maybe the suppose it's a it's a tag or even a big heavy infantry, and suddenly you Carlos Stoppers who is the, the the manager of this question uh, when uh, we're talking about the uh, concept design and modeling. Uh, okay, if we have done the head smaller, smaller, the shoulders would le look more wider and the model would be more impressive. But you have done it in Fimo or in or in green stuff. What we we don't work with green stuff, only with Fimo. Uh, uh, so if you want a smaller head, you have to model it again, and that means time, more money, and maybe if uh, the, the new head will be not so fine that the previous one. And maybe when you have this new head and you place it in the shoulders, uh, in between the shoulders of the, of the model, you realize, 
No, no, Carlo, you were not right. The the first the first case was was better. Uh, you have to spend time, effort, and also money in something. But what happens with 3D model imagery? When we send the when we send the files to the to the German company, uh, we said, okay, we want this in this uh, scale with that uh, with that size, and we can ask, but please make two versions of the head, one bigger and one smaller. And okay, you have to, to pay for that, but it's less time, less effort, and also less money than have to model to uh, to change the, the the same head with three more with three main stuff. So we usually print uh, uh, one single master. Uh, if the master has a problem, not do it the printer, uh, do it some uh, question of uh, modeling, of designing, or even uh, molding. We realize of this, mm, this uh, angle of, of the shoulder provides pro uh, problems with with molding. It's better to make it more in this in this uh, shape. Okay. When we ask again and we and we reprint reprint again. Sometimes if we are very hurry, uh, we can ask for uh, two uh, two versions of the of the same model. Mm, for example, when we when we release the uh, the Tamita Lions version of the of the female bot for the, the exclusive model for for the Jenko, uh, we ask for two because uh, we have not so much time to make the this this new model and um, we are worried about one of the of the pieces uh, that work not very well so let's make two different and and then when they arrive we choose the, the, the best one. But as I said usually we bring the ones ones. You only need one master to make the to make them the production models. So the one single model is, is enough. Yes, sorry. Sorry. sorry, one more related question. Yeah. Do, you, do you mind commenting on the price they charge for do you guys for a master? Is that it's like is in the hundreds or thousands of dollars for, mm -hmm. uh, for a single figure? Uh, more or less, more or less. Uh, I think uh, we're paying 400 euros. It, it, depends, it depends on the model, how many pieces it has. It's not the same uh, one single piece model than a, a model that has several several pieces, but it, it's about uh, around uh, 400 and cheaper, and I'm not very useful to, to, to find that. Uh, from 100 euros to 800 euros, more of it. Of course, that is more expensive. Uh, maybe in the range of 900 or even even 1,000, but uh, it, depends, it depends on the number of pieces, more, more, than, the, more than the size. So you can see this is the half And again, okay. Uh, do you want to come back? No, that's good. Okay. Well, I hope to will not be very boring. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, this PC has no Look, I'm not sure about the time we are spending. Oh, okay. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Keep going. So it's more down in the daylight. Another new, another new, new thing. I've never seen before. Uh, those are the dactyls, a new tool for for Aleph. As I said, we are going, we are keeping releasing. Uh, Tools for for Aleph. This is for the steel phalanx, of course, with that uh, strange Greek name. It only, uh, it only can be from the steel the steel phalanx. Um, this will be a new unit for for the for the steel phalanx. The steel phalanx is a very uh, focused uh, army for for um, uh, direct direct action uh, operations. So it has some problems when dealing with. Uh, uh, missions or scenarios, so uh, the new um, the new tools we are going to release are more efficient to to solve that, that gap in the in the army. It's uh, interesting for me because uh, the army is half gaps because it's more easier to create new tools for for it. Uh, 
just taking the name of the DuckTales provides some idea about the, the original profile of this unit. The DuckTales are um, mythological creatures of the Greek mythology that uh, are when the mother of the Earth, uh, Rhea, uh, who was pregnant, uh, realized she was going to the, the time for the library is, is arriving. He uh, pressed his hand to the ground and, uh, and from his fingers uh, blow up uh, ten uh, magical creatures called dactyl. Dactyl means finger in Greek. And those dactyls are related with the ground and in the Greek mythology every, everything which is related to the ground uh, like the volcanoes, for example, are related with the smiths and also with uh, with healing creatures. So the smiths, blacksmiths, uh, healing. You can see more or less the operational profile of this of this unit. Uh, you can see also breaker pistol for for them. And now we. Uh, when we have to deal with the uh, color patterns, uh, usually Carlos, uh, being Carlos Torres or mostly in Bosnia, uh, uh, the people have to make different versions of the same of the same color pattern. Um, we have to have in mind uh, different questions like uh, which is the official color pattern of the army, and also we have to make. Uh, Choose a color pattern which is um, in the same line of the official color pattern, but at the same time different from from others. And it's a little bit uh, convoluted. Uh, for example, uh, I think that uh, this one was not very suitable because it's more uh, similar to the Torakitai. Uh, having conservation, these tools and the Torakitai have uh, sometimes have a similar profile in game. It would be better to, to choose to choose a, a different a different one. Uh, well, uh, as this is the, the first time uh, this unit is shown, you can vote and, and decide which one of these uh, color patterns do you prefer. And we we consider that this we go to and we de we decide the, the final one. So how many votes for number one? One, two, three, okay. How many votes for number two? One, two, okay. How many votes for number three? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, okay. I took note the uh, number three, number three is the uh, is the one you, you prefer for for the uh, yeah. yeah, I said the number two number two will be that's that's the one which probably will not be Choose with that similarity to the to the track. Number three, okay, okay, I have to remind that. Mm. What? Well, this is not exactly new because you have seen in the in the display. Yeah. Corner, the most the the more character. The, the first the more character. Uh, well, uh, again. One model by Fausto. It's uh, I said uh, Fausto is um, incredible, in, 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 in incredible art. Uh, but uh, before seeing the, the 3D modeling, uh, I'd like to to point uh, the the question of Cornell uh, has not the typical red face of the Morat. Cornell uh, is has a white pale face because Cornell is some, uh, some kind of, of albino. I'm not saying that the uh, Gorkhan has uh, uh, some kind of disease in his skin. No, Gorkhan belongs to a um, ethnic, uh, ethnic, sorry, ethnic uh, minority in the in the Morats. Uh, well, when the background of the Morats was created, uh, the idea of the Morats a uh, very violent and aggressive uh, race. So I, I start thinking about it. Okay, I have to create a society based on violence and aggressivity. What that what could means for for any for any society? 
so you have a very violent uh, culture, and probably this culture has been fighting uh, constantly, and that means that probably part of this uh, race has been banished by the by the others. So probably then they are uh, ethnic minorities that have been disappeared in a genocide. Uh, and the, the history of the Morax has plenty of genocide actions. Uh, what happens with the uh, with Korna? Korna belongs to an uh, ethnic minority who is uh, also uh, considered as uh, low class, low class citizens. Uh, I think it would be very interesting if we create a, a moral character that belongs to a low class uh, society because that means this guy is not only a very tough uh, moral, no, he's even, even worse, he's a really badass because he has to, to uh, cling from, the, from the, the bottom of the society to reach the, the, the rank of high type officer. And that, that was a very, a very good idea of, of Kornak uh, being a, a low class uh, officer uh, because uh, it means he's even worse as officer because he always remember that he was very badly treated by the, by the other Morats and when he's living then he can insult and treat them treat them also also bad. It's, it's it's funny, it's funny for me to do that. You can see here the Concept design with a pale face. A uh, new weapon for the for the Mark, the Mark 12, uh, having a plain tower. And the painted model by by Angel. I'm not sorry, this was painted by that. Yeah, I think this may be was painted by that, and not by Angel. And uh, I'm not very sure about it. Okay, and again, 
the color pattern for the for the timing for the imperial A and uh, What happens with imperial? The imperial uh, always uh, deal with uh, orange um, and black. Uh, so that's the main colors uh, used by by Austria to, to make these, these different proportions. Uh, what can I say? Uh, again, we have to consider the 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 look of the of the army and the similarity with other units from, from this army. All unit is faster. This one, I, I I don't like this one for example number three because it has too much orange and the orange is the color for the for the invincibles and for the state army and not for the for the imperial. So I will say no to to the orange. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's more interesting to choose number one or number two. I can say no to number two, why? Because they have white face, and in Eugene, you can find white face on the Hattau, on the Dalfe, and also in the in the Gilan. Mm, more in the line for the Swarajema mm, sectorial army, more directly to the snow, snow troops. So, choosing that, maybe number one will be more interesting. But, uh, Maybe too much white, and, and imperial agents are not, are not good boys, are a little bit nasty, so wearing white maybe is not very suitable uh, for that. So for me, it would be a very complicated, complicated uh, situation uh, having to choose uh, among these three, the three core patterns. But again, you can help me with this and unbox. So, how many of you prefer number one? Three, five, okay, five. How many of you prefer number two? Oh, three, six, okay. Uh, how many of you prefer number three? Okay, number three, I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 how about number two with number one's rock? <laughs> okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the three, uh, the, the number three for that case and number two for the Tangier Imperial agents. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm saying it's okay. New model, never seen before. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> is there any more player? Is there any, any more player in the room? No. That's uh, that's the reason the. The room now is not plenty of uh, shouting and crying. I will see a more at play. Again, this this model has been modeled by Fausto. Like as the, I yeah, said, that's Everybody likes the story out of the starter pack, uh, uh, and I say, that it, okay, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to to, to have a story in the model starter pack because uh, it's a very big, it's a very big model, so it attracts the, the attention of the customers. It, it may be, uh, but uh, uh, it's uh, too much interesting for for a uh, starter pack because we can sell perfectly. Uh, any sogar at uh, the the, the sogar of the starter pack is uh, separated in a blister. Uh, so that means if we place the sogar inside the starter pack, any more player will have a sogar The sogar is a uh, true profile, very expensive. So it's very difficult. Uh, more players uh, place or the deploys more than one sogar in, uh, in in the game table. So having only one uh, will be enough for them. So uh, placing a solar inside the, the, the starter pack is not a very good idea from the uh, company point of view because we are preventing future uh, future sales of uh, a new a new solar. So what is the way to deal with that? Releasing a more awesome solar. <laughs> <than the game. laughs> which which is not very which is more difficult than. Uh, so I could think, but 
having a so incredible model like Fausto uh, makes things easier. That was still perfectly fine. <laughs> The Morat was the number one starter pack seller, right? Yeah. 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 And at, at this moment, they um, totally amazing for us, the, the Morat. And it's nice because, uh, unfortunately, Morat started, but it's very expensive because it has a lot of pieces and, and maybe a lot, and also a lot of uh, metal inside. Uh, but people react uh, very well because uh, having a model like the, the Sogarat inside the makes the makes the the starter pack very very attractive. Yeah. Uh, again the, the that this color pattern is called that's really bad. At the risk of being beaten by the rest of the room because I'm delaying more reviews. So, how do you guys how do you guys decide like what goes in a starter pack? Is it just sort of like what looks good or what mm -hmm. plays well? It's it's difficult uh, at the beginning, uh, we, we the decision started with the uh, with the army list. Uh, we know we need uh, three uh, models from a line tube or similar to a line tube. For example, wildcats are not exactly the line tube of of, um, of for the corregidor sector of the army, but we have all Godzilla's in in the starter pack. But uh, wildcats are very useful as a uh, Link it uh, to, to compose fire teams. So and if they are not very expensive, so they act, they can act like uh, line troops inside. Uh, then we need uh, an infiltrator or something similar. Uh, another unit, another light unit uh, with uh, some special skill that will be the, um, for example, the the Osnat in the in the, in the starter in the Morat starter pack. And then you need the the, the list the, the list model in the in the, in the starter pack. For example, the orc trooper or the mobile brigada in the in the in the sorry in the normal starter pack. So th those are our um, master lines uh, when we have to deal with, with the composition of a, of, a, of a starter pack. Super jump? Uh, you say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but I think at this moment this this stuff is uh, not new, I'm sorry, but I'm it's uh, eight, uh, eight and a quarter. So if you want to stop and make some questions I have no problem with that. Uh, this is the <laughs> this is the warrior. The new the warrior. Uh, I'm showing you the Dog one, so you can compare again. Dog Warrior is one of the most oldest models we have. This was designed and modeled by Carlos Torres, and uh, also now he blames himself for this model. <laughs> 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 no, uh, at, at the moment it was a very, very nice uh, model, but uh, now, after so several years, the model must be from 2006, the end of 2006. This means more than six years. Uh, and that's a long time for 
in the in the miniature industry, especially with with infinity, we have infinity constantly. So they 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 deserve to to have a new a new design and a new school. They have the old model and also the new concept design. Uh, one of our uh, mistakes with the first award was uh, the color. Uh, we choose almost orange and, and red color and instead of a dark one because uh, we like the idea of uh, they were more related with the antipodes and the folks have more brighter colors so we, we like to have a link in with the dark colors and the, and the antipodes but uh, finally it was not a very good uh, color scheme for, for them. Now, uh, okay, darker is better, you know, all that is better. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we choose this this gray this gray pattern. Uh, what happened? The, the top order are mostly uh, from the Cossack forces, so more in the Russian the, the, the Russian culture, and and they are low class citizens uh, coming from the the, the the worst areas of the of the suburbia uh, towns of of. Uh, Rodina and Tartaria in, in Ariadna. Uh, so you can see they have uh, tattoos. Those are the typical tattoos of the Wardy Sacconi, the, the brotherhood of, of Sibs, the, the, the mafia, the mob of, of the, a Russian, a Russian mob. Uh, they are uh, typical Prison, prison tattoos. Uh, with uh, any, any one has different, different meanings. Uh, as far as I say, the the star, as the star of the soldier, this kind of star means that it's a person who has been in prison and was not blended by the by the um, by the wardens, by the by the the, 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 um, the functionaries of, of the correctional uh, facilities. Uh, and any, any any of the tattoos has its own meaning. This is the dog face version. You can see the tattoos here. And this is the, the basic. This is the, the, the basic design for for all Ariana units. Uh, all started with that. Trousers, boots, and this light bulletproof uh, uh, vest. Um, from here, uh, Campbell, when he has to design, start to add more and more and more things. But Basically, it, it, it's the it's this, uh, the basic design for for it. likes very much these kind of poses. She prefers standing poses than dynamic ones. The second, the second dog face. <laughs> the idea of the scar in the in the face, in the, uh, crossing the, the eye, comes from from Fausto. And I think it's a very cool idea, especially oh, when you see the warrior, the warrior version. Now the warriors are really impressive. It's very funny to see how the, the chain rifle becomes a, a small pistol and, and, the, and the, machete, the machete becomes a, a jackknife. <laughs> so what happens when everyone just plays Ariadna? <laughs> It'll be Ariadne versus Mora. That's what Mora is. They have something to come to say. Where do the cargo pockets go? Yeah. What happens to the pants in general? They stretch. Stretchy. Yeah. It's got Hulk pants. Yeah. Uh, that's, 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 yoga pants. <laughs> that's something I, I never liked uh, uh, with the dog warriors. When, when I concept the warriors, my idea is that the warriors uh, are always that shape, you know. But uh, Carlos likes the idea of having uh, some kind of werewolf that 
Because my younger, I'm suddenly cursing out, <laughs> we have an evil, stronger creature. And I say, okay, okay, that's very interesting and funny, you are seeing a crappy movie of the actors. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we are talking about the, 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 the uh, realistic game, and this is quite something impossible. You cannot create a new, more modern by mass from from nothing. So that's something. Uh, at this moment, I was not very uh, convincing for him and everybody in the first uh, werewolf idea. So okay, let's go with that. Uh, but uh, at some point, Carlos, Carlos has to design the dog warrior. And he designed the first of world at this moment very well. You can, if you remember the first of world, only have pants and uh, and some kind of harness. Uh, well, but at the moment he has to design a new the world of a uh, Macmurro. Macmurro. He faces the reality. Uh, okay, <laughs> if you want an armored, an armored dog warrior, what happens with the dog face? Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you need the real new materials and futuristic materials <laughs> for that. You can see uh, Dopo was now a uh, wildest than that. You can, you can see to compare it with a fusilier because the dog faces are taller than a regular fusilier, for example. <laughs> The quality of details provided by by Fausto with the cell brighter problem is also awesome. Like you can see two different sizes uh, from a fusilier and a dog face. And the two because we are going to release the uh, dog models in a in a, in a box. Two models in, in, in a box. Uh, we make this uh, experiment with the geckos. Uh, when I create the, the, the two profile of the geckos, uh, started with Wosti as a I always have the idea of creating a, some kind of uh, heavy family, very, very bulkier, or, or maybe a attack uh, smaller. Uh, not, not very sure about <laughs> what. Uh, and sometimes uh, Wosti said, wow, we don't need to, why don't we make a. a heavy infantry, very bulkier, but with uh, short range weapons and uh, that kind of stuff. And yeah, okay, I'm going to try that. The idea of uh, Bostia was not very uh, useful when translated to, to, uh, to a two profile, uh, having some problems with the cost and the um, final result on the, on the game table. But uh, I was uh, starting from the I, I, uh, reached the idea of the geckos, uh, the, the final two profile, and said, oh, they are cheap enough to, to be able to feed too. Maybe not mostly visual in, in a in a I mean this but they, it's something different and I think I was very I was absolutely convinced that uh, Carlos told us to make a uh, very interesting uh, very attractive uh, small but bulkier uh, uh, tag and and we said okay I'm going we are I'm going to make two different weapon options and we're going to release uh, a box with two. Uh, we have some troubles to combine first the manager of the company to release that, but finally uh, we we do that. And the geckos are one of the best sellers of the of the of the ranch. So finally, with the dog warriors, which are very a very cheap unit, um, we can make do that because uh, it's very easy to to, to find any Ariana with with two dog warriors. Um, Okay, seeing that, uh, I'm sure that people will not complain to having to buy it. What more about pictures? Especially when you make them ABA 4 and that's Kazakhs. You can see the scar of the dog face is reflected in the. In the oh. Here is the scar. The scar is reflected in the dog warrior face. So is McMurrow getting resculpted too? Just as I finished painting? Uh, 
Maduro, no, Maduro was scooted He's pretty recent. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty recent, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't think we are going to change my Europe because uh, it's, it's, it's fine and it, it, it uh, fits perfectly with this new double dose. Not, not the old one, but yes, but Europe, yes, can. Uh, in fact, the uh, double started from Magnur, uh, Magnur, from sorry, from Europe to create a new Magnur and um, uh, to create this new. This new little West Jack. Yeah. I figured they just swing loaded him. <laughs> the first time I think uh, someone has been watching Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> 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 I, I cannot assure that. So it's something I cannot tell. Okay, the, you have seen in, in internet probably, <laughs> and also the, uh, the, the model is in, in the display uh, upstairs. Uh, so Young Invisibles are uh, another new tool uh, taken from third edition, uh, heavy friendly unit for, for eating, uh, low, low rate uh, heavy infantry, not very, not, not uh, with a uh, high armor value, but uh, Lighter but cheap. Uh, that means it's a unit you can compose a fighting in the future uh, invisible army of, from your team. So it, it's, it's, in, it's interesting. Um, uh, the Terracotta has uh, the basic uh, in fact heavy infantry for your team. Was the, 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 test, the, the, the test unit for, for Carlos to create the new armors uh, for, for your team? Any heavy infantry of your team will start from from this design. So by this way, we can keep uh, the same line, uh, the same idea for all all heavy infantry. Uh, what have been this Terracotta uh, soldiers? Uh, what what kind of uh, new thing provide to to the team army? Well, not only the, the idea of a cheap heavy infantry uh, able to be composed, but also the pro all of them uh, carry two breaker pistols. Uh, uh, they have a heavy machine gun version uh, carrying an automatic kit, and they have also a lieutenant version uh, carrying an automatic kit. And, and also, um, in the two, the two profile we are going to release uh, this month with, uh, with the model is uh, a second, second edition version. It's not the definitive one. Uh, for example, in they are not carrying two breaker pistols, they are carrying just pistols. Uh, we release the uh, third edition, you can see the changes. But uh, you, you will see that uh, they have a movement of 4-4. Four, four. Um, it's new, but it's not new in, in third edition. In third edition, most of the heavy infantry have a movement of 4-4. Four, four. Why? Well, uh, when, again, I have to come back in the, in the in time, and when we were creating the, the army list of, for, for Infinity at the beginning of the game, uh, we have a very interesting uh, two profiles for heavy countries because they are so powered, so they can do a lot of things. And suddenly we, we feel a little bit scary because we thought that uh, they are so interesting that people will not be interested in taking a any light infantry because all the good stuff is carried by the by the heavy infantry. So uh, at this moment we decided to uh, giving them ju a movement just of uh, four two, and this is stupid. Uh, this is stupid from a realistic point of view because if you have a solo powered armor that uh, allows you to uh, lift uh, any heavy weight, uh, a lot of uh, for you can also run faster because you are so powerful. You can run, you can run faster. So uh, and when we face third edition, uh, it's an okay, it will be more interesting to provide more mobility to the to the heavy infantry. And another thing very important in in third edition is uh, uh, sorry the hacking rules. Uh, hacking rules in third edition are more interesting 
more uh, versatile and more uh, useful. Uh, that, that's good. Of course, and so you yeah. sound like a German, that's good. <laughs> 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 but, um, uh, but also, it's a trouble for every country. So, mm, we have to balance, to compensate the, that uh, weakness of them. No? Say, they are hackable, okay, oh. and hacking rules are now better. So, hackers are more uh, dangerous for any heavy infantry, so they need uh, something. So, uh, you will see that most of the uh, troopers, of uh, heavy infantry troopers of third edition, uh, have four four movement, but the uh, cost is mostly the same. Why? This is to compensate the, the hackable weakness. Uh, and also, uh, Carlos will kill me if I don't point that. <laughs> you can see the, the, the logo, the insignia of, uh, of the Terracotta soldiers. Uh, this is a new uh, style of uh, design for for Eugene, for Eugene units. It's more in the uh, socialistic, uh, uh, socialistic um, armies. Uh, an idea of, the, of more uh, militaristic uh, with a star and that, and that kind of. Tiger soldiers, new design also for tiger soldiers. Uh, you can see they have chains a lot. Uh, why? Well, uh, they are uh, they are uh, really infantry, but they have combat jam. They are um, well, a very good uh, armor value for for a really infantry. So Carlos Carlos Torres decided to provide them more more pieces of, of armor. Uh, it's more or less the, the the basic design for, for a, a Eugene uh, trooper, but uh, we adding adding pieces uh, to it. You can see this is the basic uh, bulletproof base of uh, Tanchi, but with uh, improvement in, in armor here in the chest, and also armored the armored, uh, arms, uh, reinforced legs, uh, and also the typical harness of uh, uh, combat gear. Or you can see the, the, the backpack is in bare, with that piece that can seem to be removed to redirect him when flying. And um, nothing new about that, uh, the same, the same. We only not exactly the same. We have changed no more heavy machine gun for a Tiger Soviet pack and Spitfire. Why? If you remember the, the weapon chart, heavy machine gun is good for long range distance. But this is a combat jump trooper. Okay, they have also uh, more terrain, but probably you will use always uh, a combined jump trooper. And for a combined jump trooper, a Spitfire is more suitable. You, you don't require a. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't require a heavy machine gun. And this is a colored version. Yes. Uh, <laughs> when I saw the colored version, uh, Camera Story showed so me to me, I thought, hey! Someone is thinking in Thundercats. For <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was very proud of it. Oh, I can, I can make it very similar to a tiger. And he said, Yeah, very similar to a tiger. Uh, and then later he started to add that kind of stuff with red, uh, red stripes and the red star, recently that idea of uh, more uh, red, red army, the red army idea also. Uh, for example, my contribution in concept designs, I, I uh, provide things, uh, stupid things like, like this. This is the, um, the ranks for a uh, uh, no commissioned officer, a sergeant. A sergeant. I'm not very sure if a uh, staff sergeant or a uh, uh, no commissioned officer for the Chinese uh, popular, popular arm. Um, uh, because uh, Angel, uh, our painter, is perfectly able to paint that in a very tiny <laughs> <laughs> something stressing something. And you can see the new design for the for the insignia again giving that idea of uh, red, red army insignia. So is moving HMGs away from jump troops like is that going to be game wide? Like will my Hellcat no longer? Uh, yeah, we are going to we are going to to change the the, mo 
almost uh, two profiles uh, of the combat guns changing heavy machine gun from, from speed fires, uh, considering uh, the, 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 that new operational profile for, for, for them, but uh, maybe not, not all of them, but the most of them have uh, new, new. And as we have uh, going to release a new model, it's a good moment to change. No, that wants to look a different way. Uh, the new ones are right. The new ones are great, so I'm not going to be able to see the same the same thing. 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 The same uh, what have they different from other uh, basic tools? Uh, if you remember, in Ariata, militia tools like volunteers or the metros are a light infantry. Light infantry and very, and very light with uh, zero in uh, armor value. Uh, but with uh, with Ariata, with the American Arianians, uh, we choose a different way. This is a medium infantry. Medium infantry with an armor value of three. Um, and not only that, uh, the basic uh, grant cost only 10 points. 10 points are more value of 3, but again, okay, it's a uh, minimum infantry. That means a uh, movement of 4 2. But uh, what have these guys also different? Uh, the weaponry, they have, uh, this is the basic weaponry, but they have also a virtual carry, a light. Uh, sorry, a heavy flamethrower and also a light shotgun. Uh, so we have a very uh, a, 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 la a large, uh, a large uh, direct template weapon and also a short round uh, weapon with a plus, uh, uh, plus six in, in very short range. Very useful to, to take control of the, your deployment area. Uh, and also we are going to be uh, uh, at this moment uh, the heavy machine gun and in the future the, the, the sniper, the sniper version, thinking in the uh, future um, uh, usually I'm a starter pack with, where you can find the, the, the basic the basic uh, run with rifle and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, heavy frame, frame tower but at this moment only the, the support weapons like the heavy machine gun and also the, the sniper rifle the sniper rifle guy of the guns has also a, 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 a special skill that has not the others that make it uh, more more interesting also. I'm, I'm very I'm very proud of this this profile. It's nice, it's nice to play. And again, the the, the troubles of choosing a, a color pattern is even worse when dealing with uh, tools from from you from. American guy, <laughs> <laughs> because you are very complicated people. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you, you have one of the bigger, the biggest uh, armies in, in the world, and you have also very uh, integrated uh, military culture in your yes. in your culture that doesn't happen in the most countries of Europe. Uh, I mean, uh, most of you uh, can differentiate even not being in the army, the difference between a guy from the army, a guy from the marines, a guy from the navy, and also from the user force. They are not, they are not the same, they are, have uh, different uniforms. Uh, in Spain, for example, a soldier is a soldier, no matter if you are, the, no matter if you are from, the, from the air force or from the, or from the army. But you have uh, different, uh, different uh, uniforms from, from each, and we have to take care of it with that. So when Bostia makes the, the, the first uh, design for the color patterns, uh, I said, okay, you cannot use this color, Coyote Tan, because uh, Coyote Tan is used by the Marines, and, and the grants come from the Army. Uh, why? Um, in the background of, of Ariadna, uh, the, the colonies have a uh, uh, detachment of the rangers uh, to provide protection, and rangers come from the army. So the main units of Usariana comes from the from the army. Uh, this doesn't mean that all Usariana uh, troopers uh, 
we come from the army, we are going to have uh, marines and, and from other uh, from other uh, army corps, but uh, they will be few, uh, very selective, because at some moment someone belongs to the marines and remember the marine code and, and wants to recreate that. that